Hey friends, so how are you guys? I am driving, but no worries. I'm currently in line for Starbucks to get some coffee to get my day going. It is very early in the morning. I just dropped the kids off at school and I just want to chat with you guys real quick because I know I said last week that I was going to um, do a quick little video to show you guys um, the update for week five for the One Roof Challenge um, and to show you guys like the rug and chairs and you'll know what I'm talking about only if you've watched the last video my um, one room challenge dining room office week three and four update video which is the previous video before this so um, if nothing makes sense watch that video and you'll get what I'm talking about but for my peoples that did see the last video yeah I told you guys I'll come back and show you um, you know what the chin rug looks like and all of that because as of last video any of those pieces right but um I do now and I did make a little video but I couldn't share it with you guys because what I realized was that um I would totally be giving away most of the room and the reveal is this Thursday it's Monday <laughs> the reveal is Thursday so for me to make a video showing the pieces it kind of gave away too much of the room and I really wanted kind to be a surprise not a surprise but you know like oh man okay let's see the room versus you guys have already seen most of it okay that was a very long explanation for absolutely no reason so um <laughs> yeah so I didn't I scrapped that video and did not share it but I just want to come in and check in with you guys um you know I can show you some vid some photos and I'll I'll add some photos in and also the blog post is on well the blog and you can also see the update there as well I'm actually on my way now to the store for a few last minute things because I am photographing the room today so I need to get flowers I need just a you know I've kind of um already styled the room although still messy there's like um <laughs> you know just step ladders and tool bags and all sorts of extra things just hanging around so I need to clean up in there but I've styled it and I just realized I just want one or two little things that I'm kind of running to Target and Home Goods to see if I could find. I need to go to Hobby Lobby to get some hardware for the new sideboard that I found on Saturday. Yay! Yay, I got a sideboard. So we do not have to worry about that Ikea piece. Good Samaritan is coming to pick it up at the end of the week because it did not work out for me. I don't know what I did, you guys. I don't know if it was all the humidity we had down here, but that piece was peeling. It was really grainy. I don't, this is like my third time painting with oil based paint, and I've never had a problem with it. I don't know what that piece just wasn't meant to be. So, We've got that taken care of. I love, love, love the new piece that I have. It's got me organized, you guys. You know, I'm actually happier not to having, um, not having to use the baskets that I was gonna use with that IKEA piece, um, that old IKEA cubby bookshelf. I'm so excited about that. So I'm heading to Hobby Lobby to get hardware. Um, I'm heading to Target to return something, and to um. I realized I want like a little letter opener and I also wanted like a little trinket box there's the table that's in between the two chairs by the window um, just I kind of want that there that's it you guys I'm gonna take you shopping with me um, for just these little things that I need these last-minute things flowers just um, little styling things I'm realizing that I want to get maybe I'll find one at um a little trinket box at Hobby Lobby if not we'll run into home goods and um and that's it and then I'll be photographing and editing and writing like a mad lady okay you guys so I'm gonna take you with me I'm sure people will be looking at me like a crazy lady um with my phone walking around or maybe they're used to that at this point people making YouTube videos but um yeah I'll take you shopping with me for my last minute little things that I need 
and that'll be that and then I'm ready to go all right you guys I got my Starbucks for Hobby Lobby and let's go find this on um, this hardware all right you guys so we're inside Hobby Lobby I told you I was looking for some trinket boxes these are kind of cute they're like macaroons these are just the cutest I don't I don't like little tchotchkes too much you guys like littles little things but these are so cute I might have to leave them though and get something that's a little practical these are pretty too but we're really here for knobs. I already know the one I want, you guys. If you guys don't know, Hobby Lobby is an excellent, excellent place to get knobs. All right, you guys. I'm gonna get these knobs right here. I'm gonna get three of these. And I already know the other ones that I wanted because I found them the other day. And these. They're nice and thick too, you guys. They don't feel like cheapo or anything. And look. Winning. Let's see. Maybe there's some other options. I don't think so, you guys. I think that's the one I'm going for, but just to give you guys a, a little look here I mean if you want knobs if you need pretty hardware I mean this is definitely the the place to come all types and colors look how pretty this is you guys lots of pretty little ones here so yeah I already know what I wanted but definitely if you're looking for knobs go to Hobby Lobby and they even have a little cute really whimsical one <laughs> look at this you guys now that's serious you know depending on your style these would be really cute for this like sort of boho look it's really big right now Cactus, all kinds of things, you guys. Fun ones. How cute would this be in a kid's room? Just really pretty ones. All right, you guys. So let's get back on task. We're going to grab what we need and we're going to go. We are here for flowers. It's very dark. I really wanted peonies, you guys. And look how lucky I am. They have a bunch of them. So I am going to grab some. Most people probably wouldn't buy them, but considering I'm photographing today, I don't have time to let my flowers open. These are perfect. As you can see, they had some that are tighter, and if my photo shoot was a few days ago, I probably would have bought the ones that are closed. Again, I'm taking photos today. If not today, then definitely tomorrow. So these are perfect. All right. As soon as I come in, you guys, these little boxes caught my eye. All these colors are very pretty, but I'm not sure. Ooh, like I love this coral color. Hmm, maybe I'll get it for my bedroom. $14.99, you guys, for maybe a little summer update. Okay. This is one of my problems, you guys, staying focused. This one's pretty. This is a really pretty one, you guys. $14 is probably more than I was wanting to spend, though. You guys, it may not seem like it, but let me tell you, I am a total cheapskate. I need to stay focused, but these are all very, very cute. Look how pretty this one is. Let's see. 
$14.99. Not a terrible price, you guys. I was hoping for closer to $10. Because it's not like I could put a whole lot in here. Chances are I'm just going to throw my chapstick in there. I don't even think I could fit my big lip balm. You know, I like those little round ones. I don't know. I kind of like this one. Let's keep looking, you guys. I'm acting like you guys are right here with me. Well, I guess you are, right? We're doing this together. Look at these, guys. These are pretty, too, just not in the color that I'm looking for. I really like this little coral piece on top of here. That's really cute. This one with the feathers also really pretty. But, like I said, I needed something small. And this one fits the bill with the little butterfly. I don't know. You guys, I have a return. That's why you see that bag in my cart. I'm not about to stay on the lawn twice. I got things to do today. <laughs> Alright, you guys. So, it's between these two so far. But let's keep looking and see what else... This actually would be really perfect if it was small and had an L on top. <laughs> so I need a whole different box, right? Look at this sign, you guys. How cute. And look at the box. See this marble box, you guys? Why can't they have this in a smaller size? It would be perfect. I love this girl boss sign, but I think the saying is sort of overdone. So I'm not going <laughs> to buy it. But I do have one. You guys will see it. It's just like this one, but it doesn't say girl boss. I'll um, let that be a surprise what it says. But yeah, this one is cute too. I just think that saying is just a little overused right now. And I don't really want to add. This is really cute. I really wish they had this in a tiny, tiny version. Look at this book, you guys. I love decorating with books, but I also have to see what it looks like first without the without the dust jacket. Very nice. I would absolutely buy this book. Let's see the price. Twenty dollars. I would totally frame this, you guys. I would also rip this out and frame it. This might have some good framing opportunities books are great you guys especially when you find them at a decent price to use for framing as artwork for your walls or shelves or whatever I actually have um, a post about that on the blog you guys I've been looking for two matching baskets two bigger ones than the ones I have for my console table in the entry and I might be in luck today. These baskets didn't work. Upon closer inspection, I realized they're like the, they're like twisted. I don't really like that. I like woven baskets, more like this. I don't like when they're like the twisty braidy ones. They don't look as neat to me, but oh, might've just changed my mind. This is cute. I think I just saw another one. Oh, here it is. Having one that actually closed, you guys, might be even better. Because you know what we keep in these? Just all the kids' junk. Um, Nerf guns. All by the front door. But the whole thing is I want it obviously hidden. Because I don't want the first thing people see when they come in is, you know, Nerf guns and whatever else the kids have been playing with. You might be wondering why am I worried about the entryway right now when I just said a little while ago that it was all about, um, you know, the dining room office. Well, the dining room office opens up right to the entryway. So there is no way to take a photo without it showing up. So I have to make sure it's also pretty. And I actually did a little update, you guys. I got a new mirror because the one that was there before looked so small in comparison to the table. 
once I moved my Everett table from World Market on into the entryway from the dining room, that mirror just looks so tiny. So just over the weekend, actually, I found this big, beautiful mirror from Home Goods, and it was just perfect and calling my name. So I had to grab it. You guys are so funny. When you come to a store so much, the people look at you like, you're back again. I know the people who work here must be like, what? Why is she always in here? <sighs> Trust me, after this makeover, they won't be seeing me for a while. Because I'm going to be broke. I love this white Rathlorin lamp, you guys. How much? Something I'm not going to want to pay for. A hundred dollars, you guys. Absolutely not. It's worth it, though. It's just not in my budget anymore. I've gone off the deep end with the budget. Lots of um, the mercury glass lamps. And these are only $50. Ooh, what is this? This is a beautiful lamp, you guys. The lampshade is a little janky but the lamp itself is gorgeous look at it you guys how much this would be so pretty for the entryway to kind of tie into all the pink that's in the office 55 oh you guys i can't i really want to this would be so pretty in the entryway you guys i told you i got that really big mirror there now because that other mirror looks so teeny tiny once I took away that navy blue table that was about half the size of the table that's there now which is my world market Everett table just look at the spring post you guys you'll see um what I'm talking about oh man I really want it you guys the pink is perfect it would tie in so well with the other pink lamps that's in the office and the gold will kind of tie in with the gold. Oh, you guys. Why do I not have an unlimited bank account? Seriously, what's going on? <laughs> you guys, we're going we're gonna to walk away from that lamp, as beautiful as it is. Because how many pink lamps does one need in their life? And, and you know me, I like change. So the minute I decide to do something other than pink accents. I'm gonna have three pink lamps that I can't do anything with, so we're gonna pass on that. But this is another beautiful Rafflerin lamp. I actually really like the, <laughs> the shades. I know everyone really loves the drum shades, and I do too, but with a traditional lamp like this, I love this type of shade on it. These are really pretty too, you guys, except um, the shades would not really work with what I have going on. But I love these. That means I would not have to go buy new lampshades. I just, again, like I said, decorating is like a domino effect and I just, I can't go down this rabbit hole right now. I'm gonna have to make whatever I have at home work, I think. All right, you guys, let me share a little secret with you. This is funny. See this table here? It was in my house. I just returned it. I actually purchased it to go between the two chairs. And while it looked great, it did, it was, it was just too big. Um, it looked beautiful, almost like it had a library feel into the room but it just was a bit too rustic with the you know dining room table slash desk and this piece in one room way too much rustic for me so i had to return it but it's beautiful it's funny that it's still here all right you guys i gotta roll now i was i've been in here way longer than i thought i would be
I never leave Home Goods without finding their um, clearance section to take a look. Not often, but I've certainly found some. Um, I found some gems in this section more than a few times. So I always take a take a little. This would be so cute if you were doing a little girl's birthday party. Look at these cute Kate Spade plates. So yeah, never leave without checking out the clearance section in whatever store you go to. Never know what little hidden gems you could find. All right, you guys. How cute is this for a little, um, like a little waste basket? I think it's so cute. It's um, really soft. And this fabric here in these different grays is actually pretty perfect with the rug that I have. So I'm going to get that for a little waste basket. I'm still trying to decide between these two little trinket boxes. I'm never going to say that word right, you guys. So just ignore it at this point. You know what I was looking for was like some little mint julep cups to do some cute um, little small flower arrangement on my desk. But I think I might have to go near the dishes. Oh, this one is cute, guys. You know what? I was looking for a white one and these were cream. Let me see. I guess they're the same color. This one with the butterfly definitely was cream. So we're gonna go with this one, you guys. So, so here's my two waste basket and the little box. All right, you guys, we are now at Target. All right, second to last stop, you guys. Let's go check it out. Again, I'm not looking for anything crazy. I was looking for maybe like a cute little letter opener or whatever for my desk, but we'll see. You guys, this is my real kryptonite right here. Walking by and not getting clothes for Kayla. It is so hard for me. And you guys, I'm sorry I sound so um, just really low energy. I have a bit of a cold and it's been kicking my butt for a few days. Which is why I sound so stuffy. Not to mention these stinking allergies. But anyway, oh, these are cute, you guys. Look how distracted I got. I wasn't, I was looking for <laughs> stuff on my desk and I walked by the section and I found these two little guys like deer antlers. I've been looking for something to put on top. Like there's like a bit of an empty space on top of where I have my pin board in the office. And I thought something like this would be great. I just don't know which one to get. I kind of like both of them. I even like the silver in this because the table that I have between the chairs, you guys have a silver base. I'm definitely mixing metals in that room. I got gold, silver, all kinds of thing going on, but whatever. I think it works. It's fine. It's always fine to mix metals. Just make sure you kind of spread them out. But yeah, you can definitely do that. I don't know which one, you guys. This one's kind of big, bigger than what I was thinking. I wanted more something that was more like a little point up there, just a little, just a little something. So I think I might go with this one. I really went back and forth on whether or not I was going to do a lamp on my desk, but because the desk is sort of like floating in the middle of the room, I really didn't want to have to fool with cords any more than I needed to. So I'm going to actually skip that. But what I did do was I put um, a dimmer switch on when they installed a chandelier. So that way, if it's, you know, late and I just want some low lighting i can just easily use the dimmer or the lamps on the sideboard yeah so i opted not to put a lamp on the desk they have lots of cute options though see these kind of stuff you guys like this sea urchin lamp please don't buy things like this it is a waste of money i mean let me not say that they're cute they're trendy but 
there's going to be a point where you're going to get sick of a lamp that looks like a sea urchin, especially when that's not, you know, in vogue anymore. So things like this, try to buy, you know, <laughs> pieces that might last longer and just get little decorative things like sea urchins. I'm not even sure why they made this lamp. It's ridiculous. All right. I sounded very judgy there, you guys. I didn't mean to, but it's really how I feel. <laughs> Still looking for a big lamp. They got some nice options here. But once you add the lampshade to that price, I might as well have got one at home goods, really. Okay. Let's move on, you guys. Here's what I got. I got the scissors, which I don't think I'm keeping because I'm like, am I really buying scissors just for decoration? That's, it's $12. That seems like such a waste. I, I think I might leave that alone. I couldn't find a pretty um, letter opener, you guys. That's really the only thing I wanted. So I think I'm going to get this little deer head. And that's it. They got some cute little things, you guys. I know that was a super random video and I hope that you enjoyed um, doing a little running around with me today for the last minute things for the room. I'm giving you a little bit of a sneak peek and you, you can see some stuff through the through the mirror there and this is the the big change I made in the entryway you guys so this is your official sneak peek. Um, you can see that I um, changed the mirror because once we bought this console table in here it used to be in the dining room but of course no more because the dining room's in office now <laughs> but um yeah so this was um the mirror that was there before was the very same shape as this one just really small so um i added this big mirror that i just really have been looking for i wasn't p ready to pay that kind of money for a big mirror the prices i was seeing online so when i found this one at home goods it's almost five feet tall you guys which is why i'm a little sidetracked thinking that i needed a bigger lamp see how that lamp looks like kind of small next to it that's a pretty big lamp right there and you can tell how it's um I don't know, you can tell how it looks a little small, but really, I didn't love any of the lamps I found, and the ones that I did really was a little bit outside my price range, right? So, anyway, this is the, the thing with the entry is that you can't take a photo without the dining room. You can just see how it opens up, but this mirror, I love you guys. It just, again, you can't see it in the video, the scale of it, but it's huge huge it's almost as tall as me I'm really short you guys like five feet tall um so anyway thanks you guys for running around with me don't forget to check the blog on Thursday I'm absolutely gonna make a video tour of the office however I probably won't get it up till Friday but the blog post will be up on Thursday with all the pretty pictures and sources so you know check back on Thursday and look for the video either Thursday or Friday possibly Friday because I might be like super exhausted and done by the time I get that blog post up on Thursday. All right, you guys, I will see you Thursday on the blog and Friday back here on my channel for the video. All right, bye.